Hi, I have a few Thai friends that belong to a hip hop dance company. And when they learned that I was traveling to New York in a couple of days, they put this together for me. Mystery Lily! <laughs> few weeks for me have been quite a ride, uh, really busy, kind of hectic, but fun and creative. A few weeks ago I was up in Chiang Mai with, uh, with, with my girlfriend Bua Kao and, and, and her two girls, and we found a really secluded waterfall where we were able to take a couple of nice pictures and one of them turned out to be my favorite picture so far. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight When we returned to Bangkok I began uh, gathering equipment Buying equipment And putting it together For my photography studio uh, photography and video making studio but when I shoot videos here at home I, I want them to be a more professional quality and, and some really nice photographs came out of that uh, that effort as well I won't stop till I hear him say that particular photograph while I really like it, it wasn't my concept I, I got that idea from a photographer who was a teacher for me Peter Colson so while I really love the photograph um, I'm, I'm making an effort here to, to do you know my own creative kind of uh, stuff with, with with photography and video and, and uh, you know I, I I'm getting along with it. I hope you're enjoying watching it. Inspired by my friend Bill's video up in Chiang Mai, on an impulse I went back up to Chiang Mai to shoot. I, I didn't know what until I got there. But I found two young women, uh, a waitress in, in, in a restaurant where Bill and I eat all the time, and her sister, who are two young Burmese women who are working very hard here to send money back home, to their family in Myanmar, and the nice young women, and they were also really kind of good models, and the older one, the waitress, turned out to be a pretty good actress as well. video around that whole trip as well and it all came out of just this wow I gotta go do something up there because I like the way the site looked. Then back to Bangkok where I had another session in my my, uh, my studio space here and uh, produced a couple of really cute photographs out of that 
but then it was time to start wrapping things up and getting the house prepared to be painted. So while this was being painted, I went down with my family to, uh, to, to Pattaya and was able to experiment with some new photography stuff there as well. Now at the beginning of this video I had mentioned that in a few days, actually two days from now, I'm going to New York for a visit. I'm going to see my family in the States and I have some plans for some videos there. Uh, I'll be in New York, Pennsylvania and Chicago, uh, three places that I have planned now. And in three weeks, I, oh yeah, I'm going to be in Buffalo as well. So I'll be shooting videos, Buffalo, New York that is. I'll be shooting some, uh, uh, some videos while I'm there and, and I'm excited about going because I feel like, you know, I'm finally moving into a new space in terms of, you know, what's up in the world. You know, we're, I'm out of a post-COVID malaise and I'm back to being active and engaged in something that I'm really enjoying, which is talking to you and trying to tell some stories and put some images up that, 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 that are entertaining and, and a little bit of uh, work and luck and effort. They might even be a little bit artistic, I hope. We'll see as time goes on. Um, so I am leaving. I'm getting on a plane and my next video is going to be about the plane ride. Well, how boring is that? Well, it's, uh, it might be interesting. I'm flying on Qatar Airlines in business class. So I'm going to do a critique of, of the business class for Qatar Airlines flying from Bangkok to New York, the stop in Doha. Before I go though, I still have to do one of these things. But it is getting easier and easier to travel in and out of Thailand if you're vaccinated, and, and then I am. And, and uh, that's happening in other countries in the world as well. So I'm, I'm really uh, hopeful and excited about you know following through on my plans to, to get around the world, make some videos uh, about a whole lot of stuff, and try to be creative in the process. That bit at the beginning of this video where that dance company uh, did a number especially for me, well, that comes out of my old fireman storytelling ethos about never letting the facts get in the way of a good story. Yeah, I made that up. That dance show was a recital for Bukow's uh, teenage daughter, Kelly and we did go to that. And what I found uh, kind of interesting, amusing, and ironic is that the name of the dance company was Harlem Shake. So I you know, made that whole story up around the word Harlem, because Harlem, as most people know, is a neighborhood in, in Manhattan, in New York City. Uh, you know, Kelly didn't know that, no, she does now. But the real reason that I kind of worked it into this video is because while I was there, I took this photograph. And this photograph is right out of the camera, unedited, and I just love it. And I wanted to use it as a thumbnail. So I had to work it into the story somehow. If you're still here watching, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll, I'll see you on the trip to New York in a couple of days.